Hi, everybody. Okay, so um, I went back and finished the journaling on the last two pages that we did. I added the found, you know, I came across the what uh, final elements that I knew should be on the pages. And um, so they're done. So I've started on a new page. And let me tuck this in here somewhere. There we go. I used two colors I normally wouldn't use together. Um, Craft Smart Coral Reef. And is it that one? No, actually, I think it was Distress Paint. Yeah, it was this Distress Paint in Pool. And then I also used some vanilla. And you know, my goal always is when I start these backgrounds is to use, you know, let's break outside my box because if I just go with my comfortable colors, everything will be blue and pink or um, pink and purple or turquoise or, yeah. So anyway, so this is slightly outside my comfort zone, but I like the way it turned out. It came out really good. So now we're going to um, do some stamping on it. I want to do some rubber stamping. I have these old... Um, what are these? Stamping up stamp pads. I don't even know if they're they have any juice in them anymore. I've had them for so long. What is this one? More mustard. I'm sure it's the wrong color, but let's see what I do have that might work. I have a couple of them I've never used. They're still in the plastic. Look at that. Oh, including a white one. Didn't even know I had that. See, that's what happens when you put things away and you never open that drawer again. Um, I wonder if this pink one would work. It might. This is pretty in pink. Oh, well, it's got some life in it, so let's see. I have some inexpensive background stamps I've picked up recently just for working in this journal. Um, these are Studio G stamps. These are from um, Joann's. I think they were like a dollar. Um, they're just some inexpensive little stamps. I might use that one. These are from Oriental Trading Company. Now these were like less than a dollar I think each or just around a dollar each. And I like them. My only gripe is that they don't come off the other piece of plastic. They're like glued on there or stuck on there. Which is fine if you're like me and you're going to just use them. I guess you could pull it off if you really try it. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. If you're like me and you're going to just use it as a background stamp anyway, that's not a big deal. But if you wanted to actually get the whole image on something and you wanted to stick it to an acrylic block to do that, you would. I don't think you'd be able to get it off of here. So I'm going to do these two. You'll notice I'm not in the sling. Um, it's been four weeks since surgery. I don't have to wear the sling unless I'm leaving the house. Um, or the waist pillow. I don't have to wear the waist pillow at all anymore. And I just can't lift my arm up. That's all. Lifting my arm up is bad. So I'm going to start with this newer stamp in the paint. Let's see if it... You know what? On this one, I'm going to use a um, block because I can. And it's not very big. Now, I don't know how juicy the stamp pad is or isn't, so it may not have much juice in it. Well, it's not bad. Because I'm doing tone on tone, you don't see too much of it, but I'm okay with that. Oops. <coughs> I just want to add some texture and interest to the background. That's all. pretty good. That doesn't have a lot of juice in it though, I have to tell you. I know the Frugal Crafter has a way of reviving the stamp pads. I'm going to have to look it up. 
Now, I don't have one that's a blue in the big size, so let's see. Oh, that's nice. Now my drawer is stuck. There we go. I store my stamp ads in an old cassette tape cabinet. Oh, I do too have one. Tempting turquoise. Look at that. Now, these are not the kind of stamp pads that are wa um, waterproof. These are water soluble. So when I go back in here with paint, it's going to bleed a little bit. I'm totally okay with that. And then there just this turquoise is darker than the paint color. That You know what? That's fine. We're not looking for an exact match. But I also don't want it to be black and stark either. Okay. Cool. These are so old they don't want to close. That's too funny. There we go. Now I want to do some stenciling and what color to use and what stencil to use. That would be the question. I have some new stencils over here that I might want to use. That one might be nice. I'm going to use I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use my dots. Okay. So, now to pick a color. Let's get out a sheet of scrap paper. These are just some bits and parts that I found that I want to use on this page or the next couple pages. That's all this little pile over here is. Okay, color, color, color. Put these back under my table. Um, I don't know color. Sometimes you get stuck on color. So if we stay with the tone on tone idea, let's do pool and white. Uh, let's do gesso. So I'm going to do, get some gesso out and some pool. Let's shake it up first. Make sure the lid's on all the way when you shake it. Claudia Rossi showed a picture on her Facebook page recently where she didn't do that. And yellow distress paint went everywhere. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a makeup sponge. And I'm going to start with white. Yeah, that was a good choice. So if you're not sure and you get stuck on what colors to pick, go with tone on tone or go with neutrals. That's going to be your safest bet if you really are happy with your page and you're worried about picking a color that's going to totally screw the page up. Go with the tone on tone. So if you have turquoise on there, pick, uh, pick either the same turquoise or another shade of turquoise. Okay. And I'm just going to move my sponge around and I'm going to Grab my dots and the pool.
that's interesting already, right? Okay, we're gonna let that dry and we'll be back. Oops. Hi guys. Okay, so here's our next page in the year of my life journal and I should say not our next page, my next page. And this page really even more than some of the others is about found bits. So this is a little bit of leftover um, strip from the image transfer experiment I just did. Um, these are just literally just scraps from cutouts and punch outs I've done for other things. I have, um, this is cut off of a border somebody sent me in Happy Mail and um, I'm going to use this on this page. This is a little piece of painted paper somebody sent me. Some tickets. I got these little pieces of coffee fabric which was great that someone sent me and this one really spoke to me on this page so I think that one's going to go on here. Um, I went out for lunch with my cousin the other day and um, this is off of the takeout menu where we went for sandwiches. Um, something I've really missed having to be home is going out and meeting anybody for coffee or having lunch or, or anything. So I got to do that the other day. So I do think that's what this page is going to be about. Um, and these are just random little um, bits that were off. This was off some washi tape. This is a card that came with something I bought and I just I like the image. So I don't know if these are going to go on the page, but I did save them. They will go on a future page. So let's get all these glued down. I'll speed through that and I'll be back. Okay, as usual, we're going to let that dry before we go back in with our Stabilo pencil and I decide if I want any of these other little bits on there. Um, I like the way that's turning out though and um, we will see what it looks like after I get the pencil on there and I will be back. Okay, hi guys. So all the um, elements on my page are dry that I want to have on here. So I've already gone around them once with my Stabilo pencil, but I'm going to do it a little bit more now. And then we're going to let that dry, and then I'll do some journaling on the page. And this is the same process I've been using for almost every page in the book. This is the style that I want this whole book to be. 
Um, of course the elements are different on every page, but this particular style of journaling, I think, and creating an art journal page is an easy one. There's no pressure to, you know, create a painting or draw a face. It's not about that. It's just about creating some texture and putting in some elements. And that's something that anybody can do. And in the background, you can experiment with, um, oops, there's gesso on that brush. Let's not use that. In the background, you can experiment with different paint colors and um, techniques and You can, you know, play with stencils and scrape with a gift card and just put some color on the page. There's no pressure to when you do a journal page this way to create, you know, any kind of a masterpiece. This is just all about having fun and creating some interesting texture and then later on you know, expressing how you feel, journaling about your life and what's going on with you. Um, maybe putting a quote if, you, you know, maybe you don't even want to journal about your life. Maybe you just want to put a quote. That's That works too. And I think that's what I like about this style of journaling is it's just very free and there's no expectations. Although I am a painter, sometimes you just want to just make a journal page. Okay? So that works for me. So, since I didn't get too sloppy with the paint, I probably, if I'm careful, can go ahead and start some journaling. I will use my rag here to put over the parts that are wet so I don't drag my hand through things. Because, yeah, I have a habit of doing that. Um, okay, so let's see. I don't always write this way. I write all over the place, so let's see. So usually when I'm journaling, I am pretty cautious about what I'm writing and how fast I'm writing. I am by no means the world's best speller, in fact probably the opposite, and I have a big tendency to misspell something important. And while this pen is fairly permanent, once it dries, it is wet for a little bit, so I can go in real quick with a baby wipe, um, which is sometimes a good thing. <laughs> okay. And this is just me journaling about being able to finally get out after surgery and have coffee or lunch with friends, um, something I missed a lot. And then I do actually have a new pen that I want to try, so let's try this one. Ooh, this writes really nice. So as I'm journaling, I also usually will add doodles. See, there I go, almost misspelling word.
No matter how great your pen is and how much they say it'll write over almost anything, emphasis on the almost. So a lot of these pens have trouble over um, oil pastels, um, gloss gel medium. So you just have to take it easy and experiment. You kind of don't have a choice. <clears throat> the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my big whiteout pen. So the two tips I would have for you is to not be afraid to just go for it and follow your instincts. Don't overthink it too much. And when you're adding your black Stabilo pencil, your black writing, your black doodling, don't forget to go in and add some white. And um, you need some light to counteract the dark and have a nice balance, okay? So there you go, another page in my Year of My Life journal, and that's it for right now. I will be back. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself today. You deserve it. See you later.